I'm married into a family that has a history of depression. And my mother-in-law struggled with depression all her life. And it was only in her probably last decade that she really got better. Those were in some ways the best years of her life. And when she passed away and we were talking about uh, what to say at her funeral, what I was struck with was how many of the family members didn't want to mention her struggle with depression, how it had affected her life and how much better her life had become in her later years. They still wanted to keep it a secret. Now that was only 25 years ago, uh, but that's a long time in terms of people's understanding of mental illness. We're so indebted to people who come and tell their story. And even though stigma is much less decreased for many years, and even now, many people are hesitant to tell their story. They're fearful that friends, coworkers will look at them differently. Um, and yet hearing the stories and hearing how people have addressed and coped with mental illnesses, other illnesses, really changes things because then people can say, hey, they're not weird. They're not off the wall. They're like you and me. And that changes, I think, people's perception of mental illness, makes it much more comfortable to think about getting help. Joanne O'Connor. Took myself to the hospital, and I was um, inpatient for a couple of months. And when I was released, um, the psychiatrist that I had really concentrated on, I was diagnosed bipolar. I very much believe in a partnership, and a partnership between myself, my psychiatrist, my primary care provider, and my peers. And um, I think I, I look at myself as being the leader of that partnership, and I, and I believe that when that happened for me, it made the difference in my recovery. Lisa Goodwin. I have bipolar disorder and I suffer from rapid cycling. For a long time I did not know that I was sick in any way. I just honestly thought that everyone, everyone's thought process was the same. People were paranoid. <laughs> you know, went out spending lots of money. Um, when I realized that I was sick, it was right after I gave birth to my son. I, I hope to offer others with mental illness hope. And really telling them not to give up. There's gonna be hard times. And, but, but not to give up. My name's Cynthia Evans. My mental illness started when I was around 12 years old. I had depression. Because I have looked at the world through these depression lenses, things that could have been good for me were perceived as dangerous. So for me, when my mind is healthy, and opportunities come along, I'm more able and more willing to grasp those things, or at least not run away from them. But when I'm sick, everything is, is black, everything is dark, everything is hopeless, meaningless. So for me, having a healthy mind means that I have an opportunity to have a healthier life. Yeah, don't give up. <laughs>